What's up guys, it's me, Hunter Hour 12 Vents, and uh, I'm going to show you my enclosure, that, so f how, how it's looking so far. <laughs> so this is the enclosure that I was building. As you can see, it is almost finished. All I need is the glass to go right here around these edges. So we're gonna I'm going to have some glass sliding doors. Temper glass to be exact. And I'm gonna have a vent right here in the back. So I'm gonna put a vent in the back and try to uh, drill these straight holes. Uh, drill, drill, uh, drill three holes and put a vent on front on them and stuff. And I gotta figure out how to, you know, hook up the electricity to this thing. I'm gonna, maybe I'm gonna have a, a fluorescent, fluorescent light right here. Yeah, maybe I have a fluorescent light right here. I have that the heat thing screwed in right here. Yeah, screw into a bulb thingy uh, right right here on top here. So yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna have one vent just right there. So just one vent in the back. Just one vent. So yeah, substrate is gonna be right over here. It's all in the substrate. This is water. This this paint I have on here is waterproof. So it's good. It's good. It's good to know it's waterproof. Waterproof. It's non-toxic. So but I got some non-toxic stuff. And here goes this finish right here. Look at this, uh, this this stain finish I got it right here. I want to put like one coat stain of stain. As you can see, that's how that's how it's looking. I like to have a little lightness to it. And the stain actually looks really nice on this enclosure. This is a prototype. So this is the first enclosure I just built myself. Even though I had some help with me, uh, my cousin and stuff. But this is the, the enclosure so far. It's almost finished. There's two more things, there's only three more things to install and then it'll be complete. So yeah, this is what was how it's looking so far. I just can't wait to get this set up and I can't wait how to get everything situated and stuff. I can't wait to do it. Now you might be wondering what snake is going in here for this enclosure. Well, the snake is, is the snake is going to go in here. Is um, go over here. Is this guy right here, Spartacus? He's going to go in the, go in that enclosure. So yeah, he's going to go in the enclosure. So, it, 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 it thanks me for him. So he's gonna be in the enclosure. I just can't wait. It's going to finish. Now, the enclosure size is 48 in length. It's 48 inches in length. So it's gonna space for him. It's, it's 18 inches deep. And it's also 20 inches high. So yeah. It's all, it's, it's all, it's all, it's, this is plywood and it's actually oak plywood. It's red oak plywood, three, uh, three quarter plywood, three quarter red oak plywood. It's been stained and we got the uh, flex liquid, uh, the uh, flex seal liquid paint in there. It's waterproof and it's also non toxic as well. It's also got casters on it. So this, will be, this tank will be. On the bottom of other customized tanks I, I'm going to build me, so yeah, this is going to stay on the bottom. And yeah, so there, there, you, there you are. That's the, that's the, that's the project. That's the project so far. So yeah, my first uh, DIY uh, DIY uh, enclosure. So yeah, pretty big. Not as big as me, but it's getting there. I can't. I can't wait to get ready to use this enclosure for one of my snakes. I can't wait to use it. So once in the finish, I'll, I'll let you know the results on it. As for as for, uh, right now, I'm Hunter Ryan for Talvets. I'll see you guys later.